All right, Python on hardware time. Um, I'm not going to say we have like a circuit Python day hangover because there's a lot going on on Friday. Um, but we're still kind of like, whoa, that was like, that was intense. So there was an unending day of things. But um, before we get to some of the highlights about that that we wanted to mention, um, CircuitPython 8 beta is out. And Lady Ada, um, not only is this poster, I think there's still some available. Yes. Es Espressive still gave us, uh, they gave us permission to use the Espressive logo um, as part of it because that's a, that's a big uh, chunk of what we're talking about with CircuitPython 8. But um, what are some of the things, do you have any favorite things? I'm okay. gonna say Wi-Fi workflow, but. The Wi-Fi workflow okay. is the biggest That's thing. That's amazing. Um, you know, Express, if we also ESP32, um, as a chip that is supported, we've supported the ESP32 S2 and S3, and like the C3, but really for that original ESP32 uh, natural flavor, um, we needed to have Wi-Fi workflow or web workflow so that, um, well, I call it web, but it's, it's Wi-Fi workflow and we have a web browser interface to it um, that basically allows you to upload files, to have file editing, to have a REPL access, um, because we don't have, we have USB CDC, but we don't have that mass storage for drag and drop, but we're hoping, you know, with the web interface, you can easily upload files and um, it'll make it a lot easier for people to use ESP32 with CircuitPython, so it's really exciting. We have a couple boards. Um, we're gonna be adding more uh, ESP32 boards, but folks out there, if you have, look in your box. You probably have some weirdo ESP32 yeah. chip module, breakout board, dev board. Um, submit a PR, and we will um, add support for your board with all the pins and the namings, and you know default hardware. And if there's a screen, we can have that. The screen has the REPL, um, and it'll show the IP address when it connects. Wow, wouldn't that be fun? So uh, it's definitely an invitation out there. Okay, one thing too. Um, there's a new uh, feature at .env file mm. so you could put like all the wi-fi stuff in instead of like a secrets file yeah um i think that's neat because if you if you're like old school and there was like remember like window uh, dot i and i files yeah it's kind of like that it's yeah cool. it's it's apparently <laughs> a standard you know a c pythonism that yeah. we are we're using uh and we have a tutorial also how to get started with the esp32 so if you're you know you can actually use honestly our feather definition it'll probably work for a lot of boards because yeah. a lot of people use the room module, but um, it's just the pin names might not be like, you know, LED. So if you think about it, what's the future with a lot of microcontrollers? Well, they're probably gonna be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. They'll probably do things with batteries and screens, things like e-ink, and they'll probably have a scripting language like Python. And that's what we have with CircuitPython. Yeah. And the .env stuff, you're gonna need to put things like Bluetooth uh, values, names and stuff like that. You'll need to put Wi-Fi passwords, credentials, credentials and stuff. Credentials, yeah. And so that's really powerful that you could do that just by plugging in, shows up a USB drive, could do that. And now and you're doing this like, it's a, like a full on little computer on the internet. Okay, so CircuitPython day, we're calling it a success. Thank you so much, the entire team. Uh, special hug report to Kat and he helped coordinate a lot of it. Um, so all the videos are on our YouTube. You can check out the CircuitPython day introduction. Celebrating Code and Community Circuit Python Day panel discussion, the Development Sprint Intro video, the Circuit Python Project Build with Maker Melissa, the Special Edition Circuit Python Theme Show and Tell, um, the Circuit Python Day Preview, the Circuit Python Day Chat with Katney, Jeff, and Dan, and Foamy Guy Circuit Python Day Game Jam Stream, um, and then there was also an additional one, reimagining IoT deployments with Circuit Python, and that was from Blues Wireless. So it was a day you can watch all the stuff. All the videos are up. And there's still more going on, and we'll probably have, I think there's gonna be some like office hour sprints coming up um, that the team's doing. People love them, yeah. Yeah, Tim and Tetrick are doing. Um, and then check out the rest of the newsletter. We have CircuitPython target support. Yes, which is really exciting. A lot of people wanted it, and thank you uh, to Mark too, mm. for adding that PR. It was a community contribution, um, mm. but it's really handy. You could check out the latest CircuitPython show. Brent was interviewed there. And then just like the unending projects. I really like this, uh, this is kind of nice. What is, what is, is it from a movie <coughs> or something? Yeah, it's from a little raccoon. Okay, thing. there's a raccoon. Um, and then uh, Scientific Circuit Python. That was one of the talks that was uh, from Twitter. Um, and then mm. just, you know, unending projects and more all made. Uh, talked about a really neat 3D printed case for this Raspberry Pi Pico uh, step sequencer and program Circuit Python. It's kind of amazing to see this project go from like a tweet, like sketch and then like real and then playing stuff and like look at it. Like, oh, it looks so cool. That's something you can make. And he's like, got the OLED, he's got the, the, those little stripes that make it so 80s. Yeah. 
call. And so uh, join the fun. You can get this delivered to your inbox every single week. Go to Adafruit Daily. And speaking of how we do things, adafruitdaily.com is a completely separate site. It has nothing to do with your store account at all whatsoever. We call it adafruitdaily.com. And that's so you know that this is just for newsletters. There's no spam. There's no ads. There's no nothing. There's no sponsorship on newsletters. It's just newsletters. And you can subscribe and subscribe anytime, or you can also read on the website, like I just showed. I and do. that is this week's Python Harbor. Thank you, Blinka. Yeah. <laughs>